hello students how are you all and uh, i hope you are all in good health so we have already completed our mid term syllabus now in this video lesson i am going to give you some uh, discussion on special points on exam point of view which are very important so please watch this video till the end and i hope you will get a good revision of this so first chapter it is the matter and its uh, composition you know what is matter you are learning from it till uh, the last class also class 6 and now it is going in class 7 all of you know that matter is made up of uh, sorry matters are anything that of white space and has mass is called matter what is mass mass means you know amount of object or matter containing an object is called its mass and the space occupied by an object is called its volume okay then what are matters made up of oh, matters made up of you know very tiny particles that are called atoms and molecules okay now composition of matters matters are classified as two types one is the pure substance another is the impure substance pure substance you know are uh, the substance which are made up of uh, one or more kind of atoms if there is one kind of atom it is called elements if they are made up of more than one kind of atoms in a fixed proportion they are called as compounds so elements and compounds are the pure substances you know with us there are 118 elements these elements are represented by symbols and we have already learned the symbols in the last and what are compounds again compounds are made up of two or more elements i just now told you made up of two or more kind of atoms in a fixed proportion so there are enormous 118 elements combined together to form in unlimited compounds you can have say okay so compounds elements are represented by symbols but compounds are represented by chemical formula but some elements are also having some their molecular formula what is molecular formula that you also know the number of atoms in contains in a one molecule of an atom that represent a molecular formula now <coughs> after that the state of matter you know states of matter are three types solid liquid and gas and two more on there that is called plasma and both einstein condensate two other state of matter that you don't have to learn in details but you have to just know for the general knowledge and you know the difference between solid liquid and gas is also solid are very hard they are rigid they do not flow they are not, not compressible if the molecular spacing is least So, in the molecular force of attraction is maximum. In the liquid, <coughs> the molecules are much away from each other as compared to the liquid solids. So, they have uh, less force of attraction than the solids. They can flow from high level to low level. They are slightly compressible, and also they can uh, they have only uh, one free surface. But in solid, there are many free surfaces. now in gases what we see uh, intermolecular force spacing is maximum so the force of attraction is the least hence they can flow in any direction they have no free surfaces they are highly compressible okay so these are the difference between solid liquid and gas and you know the interconversion of state of matter also interconversion means solid to liquid liquid to gas or gas to liquid then liquid to solid then or one more thing then solid to gaseous state that is for sublimation and from gaseous to again solid state that we are going to liquid state is for deposition so in this properties we can differentiate between solid liquid and gas and particulate theory of matter you also know this force of uh, divided for this matter theory based on the four things that is intermolecular space intermolecular force of attraction the brownian motion and the diffusion so 
these are the four points of uh, inter sorry uh, particular theory of matter so we have the discussion uh, of so nothing is more in there this chapter next discussion is on the chapter of uh, physical change and chemical change as all of you know that uh, physical change and chemical changes are further classified as so many types of changes that is natural and man made natural this that happens from the nature only man made is the due to us so the growth of a plant human beings are all natural changes and man made changes you can see the uh, making a building making of the shirt all these man made changes slow and fast change the changes which takes place for very slow process it takes long time for change to happen it's called slow change suppose rusting of iron obviously it's a slow change and fast change is a uh, which uh, in a frequent time very frequently changes takes place the burning of paper burning of fire crackers are very frequent changes the so fast change periodic change means with the change which happens in a fixed interval of time that the rotation of the revolution of the very common example the formation of day and night is the periodic change and non periodic means repeat, uh, not repeat after a regular interval it means it takes place in, in any time it may happen in any time no fixed interval is here okay so it is called non periodic change all these changes again further classified as the two main type that is physical and chemical change all of you know physical change is a temporary change it, uh, no new substances are formed only the change of state of matter takes place no heat and exchange of heat energy takes place here also but it takes place very less but in chemical change it is a permanent change new substances are formed uh, <coughs> lots of energy is evolved here either it absorbs heat or heat energy is released during Total composition of the matter takes place here. A new substance, a new thing spot. So, the total composition of the matter takes place. Not only the interest. So, examples are very common. We have cutting of papers, crackers, um, uh, crack, egg, crack egg, uh, shaw wood and other examples are irreversible uh, change. But they are physical change also. Some irreversible physical changes are also irreversible like tearing of paper if you tear a paper it's a physical change but again it is a irreversible also chemical change you know so many examples you can have uh, burning of candle burning of firecrackers rusting of iron then digestion of food so many examples you can give for chemical changes now is the desirable and undesirable that also know which is good for us or desirable change or useful to us which are harmful to us are called undesirable change like ripening of fruit is a desirable change but curdling of uh, uh, rotting of fruit is an undesirable change <laughs> then reversible and irreversible reversible means that the things can be when change takes place after that it can be brought into its original form that's called reversible change but uh, irreversible you cannot brought back the uh, change product into its original form it's called irreversible change exothermic endothermic also you know where heat energy is released is called exothermic reaction but where heat energy is required for a reaction is called endothermic reaction okay so firecrackers burning of food is an exothermic reaction whereas Boiling of water, melting of ice, it is it needs heat energy, it is called endothermic reaction. So, further physical changes and chemical changes are also classified as so many types. You can have this like evaporation, boiling, condensation, freezing, melting, sublimation, and dissolving. All this comes under physical change. You know all these things and definitions. And in a chemical change, Permanent change, suppose the examples are cooking of food, digestion of food, burning and uh, combustion of any substances are also called chemical change, respiration also produces carbon dioxide and energy, it's an irreversible change, it's respiration, 
cuddling of meals it is desirable as well as it is again a chemical change so fermentation that is used for microorganisms the yeast is used for uh, to produce the heat and carbon dioxide is the formation bubbles for fermentation process the rusting of iron is a irreversible change okay and these are the characteristics of reversible uh, chemical changes also that change of color shape size changes is taste change evolution of gases takes place absorption or release of heat energy also takes place in the chemical so these are the important points that you have to remember for your midterm examination that will have these two chapters okay so in the next video lesson we will discuss few important points from the another chapter also okay so please watch this video till the end and i hope you will have this a good revision of it. okay students thank you very much see you again in the next video lesson and online thank you very much